I did it. Well, it wasn't just me. It was me and, and Milky. But I think I finally figured out the most realistic Skater XL setting, the most realistic feeling, the most realistic looking. Thanks to the help of Milky, I think, I think this is it. You guys may notice I'm facing you this time. In order for this to work, I had to switch because I have I have four mon. My over my setup is really overkill. Here, let me let me show you guys what we're working with here. The audio program running. This is just kind of an extra monitor. That's where OBS is, and that is where the game is now. And that's me. Hi. These two monitors, the ones that I edit on, are ultra wide because I edit on them. I need as much space as possible. But this one is a 1920 by 1080. This is what I play Skate 3 on. In order for this to work, I needed it on this monitor so now we can make like direct eye contact while I'm playing the game. Okay. If we open up Babo settings here, you can see right now I'm at 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. Yes, all my monitors are 60 hertz. I I I know. You may be looking at this, you're like, huh? It looks decent to me. Like it looks doesn't look low quality. It just looks as average as it should but i don't know if i've uploaded the milky collab i don't know if i've uploaded the milky collab yet but we filmed it yesterday i don't know when i'm uploading this video or the collab video so if that is up already then then we filmed it after we got done filming that video he helped me set up my not only my controls and my settings but my graphic settings as well what's happening i need to edit my skater i hate when i wear the same thing for like three videos in a row as much as i love the falcon grip i also really like this flower grip so we're gonna go with the black and white rose grip tape i also love boobies but i've been overusing that one we can go let's go back to the arbor board for a little bit shoes we'll just rock Let's walk some con- walk. Let's walk some cons. Let's walk these. Oh, these are pretty casual. Yeah, I like these. And then for the top, let's just get black tee, green pants. That works. Yeah, that's a, that's a casual fit right there. It looks good. In the video that I filmed with Milky, I showed my settings, but because I don't know what order I'm posting these in, I'll show them again really quick. After talking to Milky for a little bit, these are what we decided with a little bit of variance for personal preference. This is what we figured feels and looks the most realistic in the game. I think my flip speed and scoop speed are different than Milky's and like there's a couple numbers off, but for the most part, gravity is really important because it's really floaty without mods. And then the rest of it's all kind of personal preference. Like if you're looking for realistic settings, I'd recommend picking these and then altering them to your liking. Once you get those settings all set up and you get used to them, then you can make the big changes. What I learned is that you can actually upscale, oops, that didn't work. You can actually upscale the game resolution. So let me just get this trick. Ooh. Ew. So you open up Babo settings and there's two things actually the first one took me a while to get used to but I'm finally getting used to it You can go over here to camera and then follow and you actually have a follow cam These are my numbers for the follow cam, but look at this you do an ollie the camera follows you It's barely noticeable at first, but once you start playing with it, it makes the world of difference I'll show you a before and after normal is this let's do a, let's do a tail slide for example Okay, the camera, it's, it's, it's normal. It doesn't follow you as much as it should. Um, that's the before. The after, you turn on the follow cam and look at this, look at the difference. You pop in, pop out. See how it like, the camera goes with you. It's really cool for manual tricks, um, bigger grinds. It's very, very subtle, but it makes the world of difference once you get used to it. He showed me that and I was like, damn, that's sick. And then, you can upscale the game. So look at this. You go to basic. I'm running 1920 by 1080. You click show and you can actually upscale it to 2560 by 1440, which is bigger than 1920 by 1080. But you do this. Oh, wait, you got to be an exclusive. You click this. It's black. The screen's black. I can't see anything right now. And then oh, I got to adjust it because you guys see something different there. This is upscaled to 2560 by 1440 so when you pull up the mod menu now the text is really small um compared to what it used to be but it, that's the only downside i guess it makes everything look so crisp and clear and add that to the follow cam and it's just like it is a huge level up from the stock setting so i figured we would test i just set this up this morning so i figured we should put this to test and try skating some maps and see how it goes let us hmm. let's go to this one i keep saying i want to do like a stoner park edit and all i ever skate this map is the barracks before i forget 
I wonder how many times I say that in every single video. The top comment on the last video that I filmed was put Garrett Jenner. That's me. My first video ever on the TV behind me, and I can only go back so far on the TV, but this is the longest, oldest, biggest, girthiest one I could find four years ago, spending the day in San Francisco. Let's go. Back in the good old days when Garrett uploaded to his main channel. Who let me out of the house looking like that? God! Kinda makes me wanna vlog again. This is Stoner Park. We'll get a couple clips here and then head over to whatever park this is. I think it's a street league course. I don't actually know. Let's just get the, the legs flowing. I just filmed a skate three video this morning. So my, my fingers have some warming up to do. A little front board. Ew. Why do I, I, I keep getting out of the grind so weird. There it is. And then I'm going way too fast. Call me Danny Way out here, and then there we go. The only thing with the follow cam is the bales look a little bit weird. Let's get some pyramid tricks, huh? Tray flip, nolly, back heel. You'd think with my 15 years of skateboarding, I'd have a general understanding of if that would be front side or back side, but I don't know still. Sometimes it's just the, the simple, realistic tricks that are the most satisfying. And then there, oh God. Let's get backside flip, switch blunt. And then big flip. Pop back in. That was the wrong way. There I go. Through a tree. Into a building. Never to be seen again. Boom. 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 Pop in the right way. There you go. Why'd I have to ruin it? Oh, I'm not gonna clear it. Oh, I would have cleared it. There it is. What was that? Oh, pretty good. No over rotation, no under rotation. I like it. Let's analyze this line here. So we come in. Backside flip was was decent. The back foot catch. Yeah. Switch blunt held it for <laughs> held it for an uncomfortably long time, and then come around. Big flip. Acceptable. Very acceptable line. I've wanted to learn this trick in real life for a while. Big spin hurricane. Whoops. Why, why is that happening to me? Yes. I'll take it. Come on in. Yeah. Not filming though. Getting better. All right, all right, all right. Let's get one more. I'll try a manual combo and then move on to the next park. Let's get, oops. See like tricks like, certain tricks you'll have to adjust your stats menu too. Like this, I might have to adjust my grind pop because even though I'm popping out of it, well, clearly I'm not. Even though I'm popping out of it, it won't let me. Just kidding, it will. I got into a manual, nice. Kickflip, back tail, switch manual, switch tray would be insane. Oh, yes. All right, I was going really slow for this whole trick, but I think it should still work. Yeah, get it. Yeah, that was decent filming too. Moving on to the next park. See, th like these settings for me just make the game way more enjoyable. Like it's more, it flows better. But that could just be because it's new to me, you know? Yeah, this park's pretty sick. This is really making me want to go out and skate. Ew. This is a street league course, I think. That's what I've been told, so. Oh God. We gotta try to get a, a street league line. So kick flip front board fakey. That was gross. That was kind of cool. Going up it apparently? No, we're not. What are my feet doing? Ugh. For anyone wondering, I'm also playing with realistic manual catch. What just happened? I just literally lagged in real life. The realistic manual catch, in addition to the settings that I showed you guys, makes for, in my opinion, the most realistic feeling gameplay. As I do a 540. Dude, what do I keep hitting right there? It's like I'm going and then, oh, that makes sense. You ever just hit a quarter pipe so hard that your wheels fall off? Same. <laughs> go! Oh, why did I go so slow? I hate when the ledges aren't waxed. <laughs> oh, ew. There it is, and then, oh, that's not spline. Okay, let me try, I gotta practice my fisheye filming, so let me try to keyframe that really quick. Fisheye, 
Save and close, now we begin. Here we go, my practice. Let's see if it's paid off. Go up, kick the front board fakey, come around. Yeah, you like that? The, the filmer is like, ooh, steez clip to the ground, okay. I'm trying to add more rotation to the camera. So that was one of the number one things you guys were saying, which makes sense, like adding to realism. A filmer can never hold a camera perfectly straight. This needs work. I don't know why it like zooms in for a sec, but starting here. Dude, the sky. Look at the clouds moving. The, this is like HD resolution with the with the follow camera makes so much difference to me. That looks like a, a magazine cover or something right there. That's so sick. So go pop it. Ooh. Ooh. I always try to think of what the filmer would see. Like right here when he pushes, you know, he would gain a little bit of distance from the filmer. So I tried to slow the camera guy down right there. And then of course the filmer has to stop when he reaches this gap because he can't just float over that. Yeah, I think, I think that was pretty good. It could definitely use work, but I, I really do think I'm improving every time. Dang, Garrett Jenner, Skater XL, Street Park coming soon. Represent! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, enough of that. Oh God, switch skating. See, I get so twisted up when I try skating switch. Nope, that was supposed to be a big heel. That was it, okay, and then, I just got anally penetrated. Ooh. 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 What will he do? Nothing. God, that glitch is so annoying. This trick always makes me think of uh, Felipe Gustavo. Switch flip back tail. I can definitely do it better than that, but I, I angled it way too high up. That's not a tail slide. There it is. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. I gotta work on, I've, I've been practicing like fisheye filming lines and then long lens filming single tricks, but I gotta work on fisheye single tricks. In the piece de resistance. That's not what that means, but you ready? Mm, I could have added some rotation in there, but all things considered, I kinda, I clipped through that stair right there. Let me try, let me fix this one up. There. I think something like this would look a little bit more real. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, what else is there here that we haven't quite messed around on? This little thing would be really fun. Why? That's exactly what I do in real life when I try this trick. There it is. All right, moving on. This is a map compilation. Um, I know it has stoner, it has this, and it has the barracks. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. I kind of want to search for a second. The barracks is in here. We'll get a clip of the barracks. We gotta stop by. Say what's up to the boys. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, what's up? I'm just gonna come in through the back door if that's cool. All right, no one's here. Perfect. Okay, clip from Feeble. I didn't even grind. So I get onto the rail too low. That's like the the hard part about realistic skating in this game is finding the right speed and not sacking it. Oh, that was a good lock in. That one felt really good. Let's check that out. Ow, sorry. Ooh, yeah. He even got that, that back truck pinch. That is essential on a front feeble. Yeah. They don't call me Garrett Crazy Combo Giner for nothing. We're doing some crazy combos. <laughs> wow, I was actually trying that. Holy shit, that worked. That'd be such a sick trick in real life, dude. All right, I've been filming for almost an hour. It's probably time to wrap this up. I'm having a lot of fun though. <laughs> Big spin front board 270 is a pretty fun trick. First try, let's go. Bring it around town. And die. Step it up a notch. Big flip front board 270. And then just, no, like front side. Dude, I keep catching it. I like pre ejaculate I got that trick down and then come on simple there it is bring it out of the park switch boards flat on your way out all the way mmm mmm an invisible fence now you see it now you don't now you see it now you don't dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -dum -dum. what else is there in this map um, it looks like 
Nothing. No, but just the, the perfect flat ground skating area. See? My board's looking crusty. Let's refresh it. There we go. The follow cam, it makes it feels so good. Like when, when Milky first showed me it, I did not like it at all and I switched it back and then off camera I started playing with it a little bit more to try to get the hang of it. And now it's like I can't play without it. Or with it apparently all right guys well that is about it for this video i thought it could be a cool idea to kind of go over what i think are the most realistic settings in the game this is just my opinion a lot of other people play with very different settings than me so uh let me know let me know what 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 let me know let me know what settings you play with in the description down below we can compare i'll show you mine if you show me yours type thing you know what i'm saying every single thumbs up on these videos really helps me out thank you so much for the support the channel has been getting lately coming up on 40,000 subscribers yes we just hit 30,000 and we are fast on our way to 40,000 which is fast on our way to 100,000 which is fast on our way to 469 million see you guys tomorrow for a new video peace out